I just had war declared on me. I was, I was gutted. Absolutely gutted. You can tell, can't you, by my... By my... My... Total and utter... 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 Aggression and... Hatred that just pours through my veins. Oh no. <laughs> it's blood, in it? Blood pours through my veins. Doesn't pour out of me at the moment. I'm quite glad about that because, uh, like I said earlier, don't want to be dead yet. Um, even though there's times when I really thought I did. But you know, there's certain things that you do in this life that help you to not want to die. One of them can be actually enlightening yourself and having a higher perspective through the means of a little herb that helps and it certainly helped today in the rather fucking unusual discussion that was had and not really expected even from me because I didn't think I wanted to see this person ever again but it's a person I love and no matter what I still love her and sorry mate but no matter what I still love you and it don't matter what capacity that love actually gets fulfilled in if at all but it's there I can't help it it's fucking unconditional and all this fucking love stuff is fucking amazingly beautiful that I am vilifying with my fucking swearing but really I'm not because maybe I'm making swearing absolutely fucking beautiful like an orgasm and even if that orgasm is shared by somebody else and not me it might make me feel a moment of fuck wish that was me that was having that orgasm at that point but it wasn't so I've probably said the wrong thing but I don't know if I care but I do I don't want to say the wrong thing I don't want to hurt anybody I don't want anyone to be hurt in because of me and I don't want I don't want to be in the way of somebody's love if, if that's what it is if it's not then I don't know it's like it, it just was what it was same as it was anyway you know and some people might know what I'm talking about so I don't know if you do it might be relating to your story or you might be thinking that you know what I am talking about for my actual personal self but I don't know and I think I've probably lost the plot now and don't know what else to say but that's okay because I've come back to a feeling of being me an actual there's nothing to forgive when you understand there is nothing to forgive when you understand and it's a shame we don't make more effort to understand sometimes to actually hold on to that pain that gets in the way of our understanding to just feel so sorry for yourself that you haven't got what you wanted that you hold other people accountable for that even if some people would actually consider them to be because in the norms of convention you don't do things like that mate it's not nice but is it just actually not nice to expect people not to do what they need to do in that moment no matter how long that moment lasts or what it turns into or we're all free to be ourselves we're all free to have the emotions that we have 
to keep ourselves in whichever emotion we're in by silly means or not. We just need to find a way of learning to be happy with being who you are, we are, who I am. I'm happy being who I am. Sometimes I'm a bit unhappy with it, but that's the way life goes. And I don't know, I've, I've said enough. I've said enough? Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Maybe I'll say some more later. I always do. <laughs>